Today, we're going to be checking out a game that's just gone into early access on the PC and the consoles as well. This is Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, I'm sure you've seen plenty of talk about this game because it brings the Battle Royale style game to the consoles for the first time, I believe, which is a big step. And the developers, Epic Games, have kept this free at the moment. The real Fortnite game is currently in early access as well, and if you want to test that out, you have to pay for it. But this separate section, called Fortnite Battle Royale, is completely free for anyone to play, which is going to make everyone happy because, well, who doesn't like free stuff? Now, the developers Epic Games have also sponsored this video, and today we're going to be playing a few rounds, and I'll be offering some tips and tricks whilst the action is happening, so that if you guys want to get into Fortnite as well, then you've got some grounding in the game. There are a few twists in Fortnite that make it decidedly different from other third-person shooters, which I think you need to know about. So, without further ado, let's fire up some games. The Battle Bus. Whoever idea this was to put this in, whoever thought of this, GD to you, good sirs. Right, let's start. So I found a really good place to start on this map, and it's a place that a lot of people know by now, but it's right here, just north of Salty Springs, and uh, it's a good loot spot, so uh, we're going to go straight for it. Now, uh, when I pull my glider out, you're going to realise that I haven't won a game of Fortnite yet, but it's not for a lack of trying. I, uh, I have played about eight hours of Fortnite so far, and I think best I've come so far is about fourth in the leaderboard. Now, usually there's a crate right at the top there, but it doesn't actually look like there's a crate there. There's one down here, though. Now, these crates can drop any manner of things, but usually some good weapons are in there, and uh, you need to get to it quickly before someone else comes along and steals your stuff. So, got an assault rifle. Burst assault rifle. And we've got our first kill. All sorted. And he had a standard assault rifle. Now, every time you spawn into Fortnite, you start with a pickaxe. And obviously you can use this to destroy things. And you can also then build things with what you've destroyed. So I'm just building a set of stairs there. Now I can get to this shotgun, which is uh, nice and helpful. Now I've got a nice close range weapon. Just listening to hear any footsteps. No, nope, it's my own. I'm getting myself confused. Uh, but now, obviously, I want to get over there so that I can get that other assault rifle. So if I click F2, I can then... Oh, no, I can't build because I haven't got enough... I haven't got enough wood. Destroy that. Come on. There we go. And then I can destroy that. So you need 10 wood to build a staircase. You need 10 wood to build a wall. And uh, when you're hitting things, by the way, aim for this little uh, icon, uh, this little target. It'll break things quicker. So let's just build over here. And you can jump on things whilst you build, by the way, which is, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about that because it kind of makes the game extremely fast-paced. But um, I like the fact that it's more fast-paced than uh, other Battle Royale games. So uh, let's just uh, get some more wood here because later on in the game, I'm probably going to need it. So I've now come off the big rock stack. I'm extremely exposed here, but I'm just running over under this hut because there appears to be a couple of things here. Now, you might have noticed already that um, my inventory down in the bottom right has lots of green in it. There's a scale for the weapons in this game. Let me just switch out to um, so I can get this shotgun. Now, I've got two shotguns and three assault rifles, which means I can switch between all of them, but some of the ammo is shared. Um, but the rarities, I think it goes grey green, blue, purple, and then orange. And orange is the best and grey is the worst. So at the moment, I've got some kind of good weapons. I've got green, which is one above grey, and I've got one blue, which is one above green. Oh, here we go. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Where'd they go? 53 health. There we go. Now, that's another thing in this game, health management. You need to be aware of what health you've got. Now, I can bandage back up to 75 health, but I need a med kit to get all the way back up to 100% health. And obviously, I have to be careful whilst I bandage. So I'm just going to become a <laughs> bush wookie for a second. There we go. Back up to 68. Oh, we can do one more. And obviously, it's um, it only chunks away at your health. So you need to do multiple bandages to get back up to the level you want. 
and then you need to take back the weapon because obviously that took the place of one of my weapons in my inventory so a little bit of inventory management there now those weapons aren't that great but i will take the metal because that's a resource i can use to build in the top right hand corner you can see the map and obviously a battle royale game it's all about staying within the circle because if you're outside it then there's a chance you're going to hit get hit by some kind of external force and in this game it's like a storm and it will chunk away at your health the longer you're exposed there we go got to be very aware of what's going on around you this guy's got some metal i can take see that assault rifle burst there is only a gray one so there's no point in me taking it because i've already got a green one Oh, play up. See, if I just get one hit... Oh, he took a hit on me as well. But he's out in the open. Damn it. Managed to get into some cover. And I haven't got any bandages because I put them back down. Problems. It's a nice hit, though. Oh, he got me down. Oh, we're going to have to have another go. One thing I really can appreciate about Fortnite is how good the matchmaking is because... As you've just seen from my last round, I died. And no one likes dying in Battle Royale games because the point is that you don't die and you win. So the fact that the matchmaking is so quick and can get you back into another game is definitely a strong point. Oh, we uh, appear to have a guest. An uninvited one. This was my drop. Oh, I'm not going to get on the roof either. Am I? Nope, definitely not going to get on the roof. This person didn't realise, however, that there is a sniper rifle over here. Now, to take this fight would be a little bit stupid with a sniper rifle. Because that person, I think, knows exactly where I am. Oh, missed him. I thought he was still going to move. Where did he go? Where did he go? Come around the other side? I think he knows where I am. He knows I'm here. Definitely, I just fired a sniper rifle at That was a hit. How was that not a takedown, though? That severely damaged him. Oh, he tried to take some pot shots. There we go. Great, this actually gives me a, another chance to show you something. Let me just make sure we've got everything. Don't think there's anything in there. Nope, we're all good. Right, we're pretty safe up here at the moment. Um, if I hit X and bring up this little potion thing, this is a shield potion. So it applies, if I actually apply it properly, it applies with each potion 50 shield on top of your health. So if you get hit with a shot from an assault rifle and it does like 30 damage and you've got a shield applied, it will take 30 of your shield instead of your health. Um, so a bit like body armor, but in the form of a potion. So... Uh, it's always good if you have them to apply them straight away because they'll help you in gunfights if your uh, if your aim isn't quite up to uh, quite up to the level of the other person. A really important part of Fortnite is um, is knowing the map, and um, if you win your first game, then you know that is just pure luck because you need to know each location and what is there or what likelihood there is of something being there because loot is technically random in this game, um, but. You also have to be extremely careful of other people who are around you at different heights because height advantage in this game is king. Because if you can build higher than someone else, you can look down on them. You remain in cover behind whatever staircase wall you've just built and that other person is left with their trousers down in the middle of nowhere. I can hear shots. And I can see a player running over to that building. And he's probably going to come here in a minute. I've got a burst rifle here. There's the player. Both got burst rifles. Tell you what, let me just uh, whip out my secret weapon. Pick this up earlier. Oh, now attracting attention from the other side, the person that I was looking at previously. Slight issue here. Hopefully we can get ourselves out of it. But, uh, is that person still close enough to snipe? That person is definitely close enough to snipe, but oh, I didn't stay behind the hill. Still got 33 shield, so we're doing okay. Try and get a better view on this guy. No, they definitely ran away. They went up to the house. 
the other person's up at the house? I wonder if they'll kill each other looking for me. <laughs> that would be quite funny. No way. <laughs> I got quite lucky there. I just had another shot. I can hear shots from somewhere else. That person looking for me? I don't know. I'm not 100%. I don't want to take the chance. Got some good cover here, actually. Got some quite good cover. Just want to look for any movement if someone... There we go. He was looking for me. Oh, I'm going to have to abandon that for a second. Can't risk it. If you crouch, you make less noise. Important that you know that. So as I creep round here, there's a chance I'll uh, not make any sounds. I'm outside the circle right now, and I've got to go that way in order to get there. But if I run out, I... Oh. No! I switched to my sniper rifle! God damn it! Gonna have to have one more go. Oh, ho, ho. that was a nice find. Don't know if you guys saw there, I just opened an ammo crate on the floor. Sometimes these are hidden around the map, and you should uh, definitely watch out for them. I think there's another one here, yeah. There's another one here. Um, sometimes, if you're running low, this can really, really help you. You should not have stood still, Sunny Jim. The loot off of that guy wasn't too bad. It wasn't great, but helped me with some uh, assault rifle bullets. And he gave me a green shotgun, which was quite nice. Just going to really focus this round and just try and keep my eye on everything that's going on. You can see here this staircase has already been built. Pretty clear that someone's already been around here. But never hurts to have a, oh, play it. Have a quick check. Oh, they got a shield. Circle's about to move in. See, I'm not in a good position here because I haven't got a direct line of sight on that person anymore. But what I might do is just third person them for a minute. They're definitely going to be healing. I can't see how they wouldn't want to heal after that. Do you know what? That's better than my other shotgun. I'll take that one. When I'm running, I like to try and keep a weapon that I'm confident with all the time. So, the assault rifle is probably the best bet. Wherever that person went, there they go. Running away behind. Don't know if you saw that. There, there you go. Oh, they've got a rifle in their hands as well. 100% that's a sniper. Drop was a little bit too high on that. They're shooting at me, just as much as I'm shooting at them. I need to see if I can close the gap. Like I was saying earlier, the uh, weapon controls in this game aren't perfect. Oh, I'm going to take that rock out. You can destroy cover in this game as well. They're not doing anything to really cover themselves. See, I've got this, this here that I can use. They're out in the open, but they'll use this opportunity to, to relocate. Think they're third person in behind that tree there. Not a hundred percent. Or they could have backed off completely. The only disadvantage of that person disappearing from over there. Have they? Yes, they have. God, I thought that was somebody from it. Is that I will likely come into contact with that person later on in this game. Because obviously anybody you don't kill now are players that might end up closer in the circle at the end of the round. I'm right in the middle of this circle right now. Probably couldn't be in a better position. I'm having to go back in the direction I came in now, which is not ideal um, because I've already covered a few of the loot spots along here. But, as with last round, we're 
near this rather sizable clump of trees, which could be helpful to me. Just gives you a little bit of extra cover where you might not have had it before. I've been camping it out in the trees here for the best part of about three minutes now. And um, no soul has arrived. There's There are only 18 people left. Thing is with, with Fortnite, because it's a little bit faster paced and the map is a little bit small um, in comparison to other Battle Royale games, um, a lot of people can get killed off right at the start, which is tends to be what happens to me quite a lot. But um, I've managed to survive this round. Although, the uh, the circle is encroaching in, as you can see here. Um, it's coming in quite quickly. Should hopefully should bring us all together. I just don't want to be the one to make the first move, because as soon as you do, someone's going to be looking straight at you. The storm's just moved in, and the circle with it, you can see it's much, much smaller now. Only 14 players left. The reason I'm not moving is I don't want to give up this position, because I'm quite well covered here. I've got my SMG out, just in case anyone decides to get a little bit too close. But I don't want to give up this position, because it's so well secluded. I mean... The chances of somebody actually seeing me in here is pretty low. The circle's about to hit the white one, and it's going to move again. And I've still not seen players for a long time. I have now moved. And I'm just inside the circle. The top of that mount up there could be a really good place for us. Hopefully I don't get shot whilst I run across here. want to put down a floor so I can get up. Oh, there we go. There's the shots. There's the shots. There he is. This depends on where the gentleman arrives. Just third person in. No! The game crashed! Are you kidding me, Fortnite? No way, you just took that away from me. I was in the best place ever. I cannot believe that. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> I'll have another go later, but thanks very much for watching, guys. I, uh... I really appreciate it, and uh, if you guys like Fortnite, there's a link in the description. You can go and download it. As I said, PC, Xbox One, PS4, it's free to play. You can play duos or squads with your friends, and you can just all party up and have a really good time. And I will do some more videos in the future, because I really, really do like this game. But uh, thank you very much for watching. My name's Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.